Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, welcome to the Redhead Caucus. Yes. You didn't know you were signing in for that, did you? Um, we are very excited about this project because what you will discover kind of moving forward is that this is not a partisan issue. Um, most of us who, who actually receive comments from constituents can tell you clearly that these issues don't know political parties. They're, they're business issues, they're important issues of how we move the country forward. And so I want to tell uh, you, Mr. Chairman, I am so grateful that we're going to be working on these regulatory issues, um, as well as other issues involving federal employees, which fall under the subcommittee's jurisdiction. Um, when most people think of regulation, they probably think of paperwork a small business might have to fill out, or the record someone needs to keep in order to fill, uh, file their income taxes. But regulations are much, much more than that. Regulations underpin almost everything our nation and our citizens do. Regulations keep our products and food safe. Regulations work towards making a fair society. Regulations work to prevent fraud and keep our economy and America working. It's safe to say that regulations are one of the most important parts of the federal government, even if they're not always well understood. For our nation to be successful, for our citizens to be able to work hard and provide for their families, our fa our nation, uh, for our nation to be secure and safe, we need effective, efficient, and rational a regulatory process that works for American business and American families. In the upcoming months, you'll hear me talk a lot about efficiency and effectiveness. Those words need to be the key focus of any discussion about our regulatory process. A world without regulation won't work, but we need effective, efficient, and rational regulation. Businesses large and small need certainty. They don't get that if the federal regulatory process stretches on for years and years. That isn't efficient, and that isn't effective, and that seriously harms the economy and local businesses. A prime example, and as we've been talking about this process and talking about existing regulations, I've also put on the table the delayed regulatory uh, impacts when, when regulations are delayed or not done on a timely fashion. I think a prime example of that is EPA's continued failure to set renewable volume obligations under the renewable fuel standards. Because of their failure to follow the law, biodiesel plants across the country, including the one in Velva, North Dakota, have had to shut down production, placing an economic burden on this critical industry. If the agency had its, done its job, there would be no harm. Therefore, the lack of regulation has caused serious economic disruption in that industry. Effectiveness is just as important as efficiency. I think everyone agrees that a level playing field is a good thing. Effective regulations get us there. An effective regulation balances the cost imposed on business with the benefit to consumers and to Americans. They also balance the cost to manufacturers and the safety benefits our families experience. One of my focus today is to engage with the witnesses on how best to make the federal regulatory process more effective. A myriad of laws make up the regulatory framework, from the Administrative Procedures Act to the Paperwork Reduction Act and others. It's critical that we examine these rules for our regulatory process and determine what needs to change, what needs to be updated, and what simply needs to be eliminated. Those last points are critical. We must always work to eliminate, uh, simplify, and update regulations that are out of date. Think about that. Thousands of regulations that have no purpose, that add no value to our society, to our economy, continue to be on the books. This retrospective review process needs to be at the heart of any consideration on how we improve this process. Technological changes, regulations that impact how industries operate must also change. The administration has made retrospective review a priority, and we've seen some success. Federal agencies posted update lists of regulations they are reviewing just yesterday. It's clear that a lot of good work is being done. The administration reports that finalized initiatives through this retrospective process will achieve $20 billion in savings over five years. 
I met with OIRA administration, administrator last week and he reiterated to me the administration's strong commitment to do better regulatory process and I hope Howard and the federal agencies will work with the chairman and me as we examine this regulatory process from all sides. We will hear a strong variety of opinions today at today's hearing and I look forward to hearing about how we can best resource regulation. No one disagrees that we need an effective, efficient process, and I think that everyone understands the importance of retrospective review. However, all that work requires resources, people to do the process, people to review the cost benefits, all the things that we must do to achieve smart, efficient, and rational regulation. In the near future, uh, Chairman Langford, as he has discussed today, and I will launch an effort to not just hear from witnesses who have the resources to come here to Washington, D.C. to have discussions, but to hear from North, North Dakotans, to hear from uh, Oklahomians, Oklahomans. Oklahomans. Oklahoma, I, I wasn't going to use the just other word. Just yeah. Nokia. Okay. Just yeah. To, to, to hear from, you know, just people who have had for years this pent up frustration who will have now a vent to talk to people who are serious about listening about those regulations. And we hope that this will um, ensure for us a continued commitment to the process as we read through this effort, but also will give us a better understanding of how we prioritize. And so I think it's critical that any discussion on how to improve regulation begins with an honest discussion of resources and how we are going to uh, modify and to um, take a look at um, the the burdens that this body imposes on regulatory agencies. With that, I look forward to hearing from the witnesses and discussing with them their ideas on how we can improve for our nation the regulatory process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay.